Hi Gemini, welcome to your January reading. This is for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus. We're going to be taking a look to see what messages need to do for you guys for the month of January. See what you guys could be currently dealing with, what you can expect. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are interested, I am doing a giveaway for a free personal reading. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is just by liking the video, subscribing, and leaving me a comment below letting me know what is it that you are mad manifesting for 2022 what is it that you're bringing into the new year what is it that you are planting what seed are you intending to plant for the year ahead let me know in the comments below and you are automatically entered into the free giveaway for a personal reading uh, so yeah i will announce the winners on january 31st 2021 so stay tuned for that i'll contact the lucky subscriber and yeah so with that being said let's get right into this reading we're gonna pull some cards see what's going on for gemini sun moon eyes and venus for january 2021 what's going on for gemini please show me clearly what do they need to know any insight wisdom guidance for gemini sun moon eyes and venus for january 2021 any messages for gemini sun moon eyes and venus for january 2021 <clears throat> and, whoa okay we have the hermit coming out virgo energy so right now or beginning of january whenever you come across this i feel like your energy is quite isolated some of you are really just spending some time alone you're in this heavy reflective energy maybe you're trying to get enlightenment or some sort of truth or you're just in heavy reflection mode about like how far you've come what you've recently gone through this last year what do you want for the future you know you're really just kind of in this hermit mode <laughs> so let's see what else is going on but this is virgo energy messages for gemini okay all right we also have the nine of pentacles reversed okay so there could be a little bit of insecurities that you're working through or you're um not feeling the most confident at this moment maybe you guys are really needing to put more of a, put more of a focus on your health and wellness um I also have kind of, if I can speak, I'm kind of getting the energy with the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Like some of you are really hard on yourselves. Like let's just say, for example, maybe the beginning of 2021, you guys have put like, um, you know, New Year's resolution that, okay, this year is the year where I'm going to get fit and I'm going to work out and I'm going to start eating better and I'm going to get on a diet or I'm going to be vegan or vegetarian or like, you know, I'm just, for the, some reason with this Nine of Pentacles reverse, I'm getting something about your health, okay? And perhaps you didn't reach your goal or, um, you know, your expectations were maybe put too high or, you know, and I feel I'm getting this energy as if you maybe are being too hard on yourself. You need to stop, okay, for whoever that is. And it's a very specific message and I'm sure it's not going to be for everyone. But I am picking up on that energy like someone is being way too hard on themselves that they didn't meet their goals or their expectations. And now it's just like, oh, you know, it's just beating yourself up over that. And no, you need to release that. You need to be more gentle, compassionate. You're being too hard on yourself. That's for someone out there, okay? Very specific message for someone who needed it. Uh, oh, okay, okay. We also have the Two of Cups coming out. Um, something about a relationship is coming up here. Oh, um, with that Nine of Pentacles to the Two of Cups, there could be a bit of this energy of being reliant on someone. Way too reliant. I'm just saying, okay? Maybe that's something that's um, needing to be worked on little bit of codependency just gotta say just gotta say little bit um seven of swords and the page of swords and at the bottom eight of cups reversed temperance and the four of cups eight of wands and the chariot so i do see that there are um there is movement in a situation there is some sort of attachment regarding something from the past Probably something that you are reflecting on with that hermit energy. You're working on trying to heal or trying to maintain some sort of... You're working on trying to heal or trying to get some sort of peace. Right now, you're not so settled though. Yeah. It's like, okay, where do we begin, spirit? <laughs> 
Okay, so let's just start off with the top, with the Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, and the Two of Cups. For some, there's like an insecurity within a relationship or insecurity within yourself that maybe you're not good enough for a relationship or maybe you're always going to be single or maybe this or maybe that. But like, with this Nine of Pentacles reversed, I'm feeling like there's this lack of certainty within you and you're really getting in your head, right? And this might be revolving around something from your past or something that you haven't fully let go of with this Eight of Cups reverse. This can talk about something, you know, from the past resurfacing, which we do have Venus retrograding. And in the middle of January, we have Mercury retrograde as well. So that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, bringing up things that we're needing to work through, things that we're needing to heal, things that we're needing to acknowledge, um, cycles, things like that. And I see that um, when it comes to whatever this situation is, which we'll clarify to get more details to what exactly this attachment or past situation is, um, it's coming up for a reason. But I do see that um, there will be healing taking place with temperance, saggy energy coming out um, your counterpart. And we also have the four of cups. Like right now, you may not quite be able to understand a situation fully or it's like you look back at something from your past and you don't really understand why something happened to you right lack of clarity lack of answers trying to get to the truth of a situation trying to see why something happened um but again like not really fully understanding um just yet but i feel like um feel like there could be some sort of change or shift or maybe there's some sort of lesson or realization you'll have in january another message unrelated to that or maybe it is related to it i don't know we'll do some clarifying but we do have the eight of wands and the chariot so i do see then the colors are different so i kind of feel like this is relating to something else i am seeing that you guys are going to be moving towards some sort of new endeavor um, this might be relating more to like some sort of creative endeavor or some sort of passion or something that you're passionate about, something that really lights the fire within you. And the energy that I'm picking up from this with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot is major confidence. So this feels unrelated, especially when we look at the colors. We have more of like cool tone colors, blue, green, a little bit of yellow over throughout all these cards. And then this is completely different. So... I don't know if there's some sort of change in your energy maybe at the end of the month of january you have this sudden switch or you come to some sort of realization or healing's taking place and now you're like okay i'm fucking moving forward or what but i do see that this is something completely different or there's a major change in your energy okay but i do feel like like we literally go from this energy of feeling like insecure beating yourself up, doubting yourself, maybe being reliant on others regarding your financial stability or even emotional stability because we do have that two of cups that came out after. So again, like maybe you have been um, dependent on someone financially or emotionally, but um, it's like maybe you've been giving your power away or someone has been kind of manipulative and I don't know, throwing things out that are just coming to mind because there are a lot of different messages here. But I'm seeing that something is definitely shifting here. We do have the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. And I'm not really a fan of that. So either this could be talking about you being more self-sabotaging. Let me show you the cards. Um, the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. This could be talking about maybe some self-sabotaging habits, beliefs, mindsets that you may have towards yourself. And like I was saying, some of you are being way too hard on yourself. Um, another message is like maybe there's some sort of information that you could be gaining or getting some sort of clarity on someone's intentions maybe someone's intentions weren't pure right with the seven of swords there's the moon in this card right here so it could be like someone's intentions are being illuminated or you're understanding or seeing someone for who they truly are um like again there are so many different messages um i think we just need to start digging into this and clarify to get more answers because i'm curious <laughs> lots of different things going on here lots to talk about january feels quite intense we're gonna start off with the hermit and see what it is like you're reflecting on talk about the hermit for um gemini summer and Venus for january 2022 can you tell us the hermit for gemini summer and venus Tell me about the Hermit for Gemini in January 2022. What is Gemini reflecting on? You're getting some sort of clarity by going inward, something like that. 
Time as a Hermit for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus for January 2022. Time as a Hermit, please. What is this talking about? Nine of Swords. We also have the Nine of Cups reversed. Two Nines coming out here. All right. Almost the end of a cycle. We also have Strength coming out. Leo Energy. And give me just one more. For Gemini, Summer Rising Venus. Thank you. Wow. Uh, the cards are just flying today. Four of Wands reversed. So this is regarding some sort of partnership or relationship. This could be regarding romance or business or friendship, but some sort of partnership or some sort of foundation um, that wasn't successful. And as you're going inward, you're feeling like you're really in your head about this situation and you're overthinking like what had happened, where you may have went wrong. Could I have done things differently? What if I did this? Would I be where I am today? Would the outcome be different like really just getting really worked up really just getting worked up all about the what ifs and what if this and what if that and like wondering questioning if there is anything you would have done to have avoid the situation or have a different outcome like really just like you know there's this energy of feeling heavily disappointed that things didn't work out the way you would wish for the way that you hoped but sometimes um even what you have hoped for it wasn't meant for you and that can sometimes be hard to accept or hard to understand, but to trust in the bigger plan, to trust in the bigger picture that there is something much, 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 much better than you could ever even imagine. And this situation, even though you had hoped for some different outcome, you hoped that this never happened, you wished, right, that things were different. But at the end of the day, whatever this was, it wasn't meant for you. And that there's something that's much more in alignment with you, Gemini. And there's a major lesson that you can take with you moving forward. You've grown from this. This is not a waste of your time. This is not a waste of your energy. Um, I know it may feel like that, <laughs> but there is so much you can gain from this. And um, you just take the L's, turn them into lessons, and turns out they are all a blessing in disguise anyways. But that requires a lot of strength for you to reach to that conclusion, right? Whew. And even just going inward and looking at these things and just like it requires a lot of strength and even support from those around you. And I just have to say, like, don't be afraid to ask for help or don't be afraid um, to open up to, you know, your loved ones, your friends and family, your partner, like whoever. Right. Um, so, um, whoever. Right. Vulnerability does not mean that you're weak. Now, what was at the bottom of the deck? Because I didn't check that at all. We have Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Devil. So, first of all, we have a perfect pair. Came to the Queen of Cups. For some, this was about a partnership. For some, romantic relationship. But there's two different individuals over here. Actually, there could even be three. Because we do have this Queen of Pentacles. So maybe maybe this is like three different individuals. This was within, within a whole group of people. Uh, perhaps this is one person's energy right with the queens and then we have a king but either way whatever this was something about this situation was toxic with the devil something about this was draining maybe you're maybe you were reliant on this person for money or like i said your emotional stability or you needed this person to be happy right things like that like either way though something about this situation was just not helping you grow um, it was holding you back. It was preventing you from expanding, from truly stepping into your most authentic form, your truest self, right? Um, and you're reflecting on that. And you're maybe now, maybe as you are, and it makes sense, right? Venus retrograding Capricorn and um, Mercury retrograding in January, like, it's going to be bringing us to major conclusions. And as you're reflecting on this relationship, these partnerships, this could be relationships way back from your past, but you're recognizing some sort of cycle or you're recognizing maybe red flags that you didn't realize back then, or you're coming to some sort of conclusion or you're realizing new things. Um, and then we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something that you're gaining from this as you are going inward, as you are reflecting, as uncomfortable, as heavy, draining. You know, it's, it's taking a lot from you. It's requiring a lot of strength, a lot of courage for you to look at this. But as you are doing it, there is something you're gaining from this. Like there is a gain coming through 
from this experience. So we'll see if we get any. Maybe that's relating to the Eight of Wands, the Chariot. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so let's take a look into. Hmm. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords. Talk about the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Talk about this combination for Gemini. Summarizing Venus. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords for Gemini in January 2021. Oh, 2022. <laughs> Man, I'm going to get used to... I have to get used to saying 2022. I'm getting... My brain is scrambled. <laughs> Talk about the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords for Gemini. Summarizing Venus for January 2022. Seven of Swords, Page of Swords for Gemini, January 2022. Okay, Ten of Swords. So there is definitely some sort of ending here. We also have the Magician. Judgment reversed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me one more for the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. For Gemini, summarizing. Oh, <laughs> Emperor Reverse. Okay, yeah, like this was just completely out of your control, Gemini. It doesn't matter what you could have done or said, the outcome still would have been the same. You could not have avoided this disaster. I want to say, I don't know what your situation is. We didn't have the tower, nothing like that come out. But for some, it was just like this was just a mess. This was emotionally draining. This was crazy. This was overwhelming and stressful. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you could have done. That was in your power, right? With the magician, with your free will. It doesn't matter what you could have done or said. The outcome would have still been the same. And that this was just simply out of your control. And which tells me that there is a lot of divine orchestration that came into play. Or this is all happening for a bigger reason. And even with all this major arcana showing out through this entire reading, right? We have the hermit, we have strength, we have the devil show up, we have um, temperance and the chariot and the magician, judgment, the emperor. There's a lot of major arcana coming out here telling me that this situation was really significant for and it was crucial for some reason for your personal growth your spiritual development some sort of cycle karmic lesson that you had to go through but it, it had to it had to be done it had to be learned and although it may have been not the funnest not the prettiest probably really devastating with that ten of swords right it, it was pretty bad it happened for you for your own sake it didn't happen to you this happened for you the universe knew that you could handle this that you were strong enough to go through this um yeah but there's some sort of conclusion that you're gaining or some sort of realization you're gaining i don't see that you're given anything from the past a second chance i see that this is over and done with it is literally like over it's finished finito right um with the magician you are realizing like you have so much control and power as to what it is that you want to bring into fruition, whatever it is that you're trying to bring into existence. And at the bottom of the deck, I love to see this. We have the star, the six of swords, and the three of wands. And underneath that, the ten of pentacles. You guys are trying to reach to a place in your life of major stability, happiness, harmony, all the good stuff in yourself, in your finances, in your relationships. It is beautiful. This is what you're moving towards, though. It is in the process. It's a slow but steady um, process. This starts off with just like a wish, a dream, something that you hope and pray for, you wish for. And then it's about making it happen, taking the baby steps, right? Step by step day by day it's part of the journey you're not going to get there overnight and it's about enjoying the whole process and enjoying and look being able to look back at how far you've come your growth right because these major changes that you're going through right again more major arcana with the star aquarius energy oh by the way we have aries coming out um cancer i already said sag and virgo leo i already said those signs but i forgot to mention that we do have aries energy and cancer all right anyways back to the cards this is um you're making slow but steady steps to get towards um your ultimate wishes and dreams turning those dreams into realities um but by taking the steps and putting the action and following through with some sort of plan and just kind of waiting for the right timing as well with this three of wands notice that the water is quite calm there's this surfer girl over there or maybe it's a surfer boy with long hair who gives a shit right but um anyways this little surfer guy uh, waiting to 
jump into the water and catch some waves but right now there are no waves he's waiting for the right timing to take off so something about the timing is coming up here it's like there's this hope there's this wish there's this dream something that you're trying to initiate right in january or even right now some sort of intention that you'd like to set maybe it's the manifestation right that maybe you left down in the comments below and you're like hey this is what i'm moving towards this is what i'm i want to accomplish this next year like whatever this dream is right whatever this goal is and then just waiting for the right time to jump aboard and see where this goes right but i feel like you have some real awesome shit coming your way okay and maybe if it wasn't for this experience this heartbreak this ending this loss this whatever the fuck maybe you wouldn't be where you are today maybe you wouldn't have come across this 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 dream or you know maybe things would be completely different you never know right and again that is also something that you could be thinking about thinking about all these different what ifs and possibilities with that nine of swords right there's a lot of this reflective energy of like thinking about everything Ooh, it's kind of kind of reminding me of a message that came through an aries reading but I don't really remember what came through in the reading anymore. But I just remember saying something like that to them. Maybe you have personal planets in Aries. Maybe you're Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Maybe you should listen to theirs. Just check it out. You may get something from it. Um, so... With Temperance coming out in the Four of Cups, I'm really feeling like you. there is healing taking place. I'll take a quick little look into that. Kind of Temperance... For Gemini, summarizing Venus, I feel like um, there is balance. You're bringing balance to a situation, or you're really focusing on just like your own inner peace. Oh, wow! <laughs> uh, Queen of Wands reversed with the Hangman. Reflection. There's a lot of reflection, and even um, looking at any anger, resentment, or grudges, or any bad feelings, ill feelings that you may still carry regarding a situation or a person, you're reflecting on it and you're you're really just trying to make peace with your past and just like letting this go. Um, so you're really just trying to make peace with your past and surrendering to what wasn't serving you. Again, this is also a little bit of a similar message that just came through in Taurus's read. So I feel like maybe, I don't know, this is only the third uh, reading that I've done for January 2022, but maybe this is going to be a theme for the collective because I kind of see some underlying themes of like reflecting a lot and healing a lot and releasing. Like that's been kind of a, a theme for a while. We do have a lot of that coming up, even astrologically, right? And at the bottom, we have the sun. Look, more major arcana. Y'all have a lot in this reading. Leo energy. This is talking about illumination, but this is also the happiest card in the entire deck. And underneath that, oh my god. We have death. We have death. And underneath that, the high priestess. What is this? The moon? Underneath that, the lovers? No way. How? How? <laughs> how are there this many major? I shuffled the hell out of my decks, y'all. I don't get how there's all those major arcanas all together, back to back to back to back. Like, there is no way. Like, I really, I shuffled this so many times before I did this reading, and even as I'm clarifying the cards, but, um, yeah, very significant. I can't say that enough. Now, let's just take a look into the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. See what it is that you're moving towards. I'm going to give this a really good shuffle. Tell me the Eight of Wands and the Chariot for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in January 2022. What is Gemini moving towards? The Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Tell me the Eight of Wands and the Chariot for Gemini. Be confident within yourself. And even on the days where you don't feel it, fake it till you make it. <laughs> You gotta pretend sometimes <laughs> all right um eight of wands and chariot for gemini in january 2022 eight of wands and the chariot okay i think we shuffled more than enough i just really want to make sure that it was mixed up all right eight of wands and the chariot what is gemini moving towards in january 2022 Page of Cups, some of you have um, some sort of connection coming through or some sort of relationship developing. 
discounted the Eight of Wands and the Chariot for Gemini. Ten of Pentacles. I love that. And the Sun. All right. We'll leave it there. And at the bottom, we have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Lots of opportunities coming up to celebrate. Uh, your hard work is paying off, especially when it comes to healing and forgiveness. You're so close, Gemini. And also, got to point out, we've had a lot of nines come out in this reading. I think we had um, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups. Oh, the Nine of Pentacles, and now the Nine of Wands. We've had all the nines come out. So it's like that final push, and you're free, and you're able to just like oh, take a deep breath. It's over. It's done with. So what was this clarifying? The Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Yeah, major, major. This is what you're moving towards. Look at here. The Sun and the Ten of Pentacles. Lots of happiness. Lots of harmonious experiences and enjoyable times with your loved ones, friends, and family. Reuniting with those that you care about. Those who maybe you haven't seen in a while. I'm also seeing that you're moving towards times of healing and making peace with, the, you know, your past and working through any internal issues or struggles or self-sabotaging behaviors the mindsets that you carry your self-talk like a lot of things um wounds are being brought up for you to work through but it's working out in your favor and you're really just like accepting it and feeling it acknowledging it and um really just finding inner peace and i'm really liking that a lot you guys are reaching this place of stability i feel like finances you can expect positive change regarding that um receiving some sort of good news here with the sun um ultimate enlightenment seeing things exactly as they are understanding why you had to go through these experiences but that it brought you to the amazing things amazing relationships amazing connections friendships romantic family etc etc i just feel like you're moving towards whatever it is that you hope for whatever it is that you um set those intentions it's yours it's just about getting there right but yeah lots of movement lots of it so that's what i got for y'all but we're not finished i'm gonna grab a couple um oracle cards and see if there's anything else that may need to come out or whatever for Gemini, Summer Night for Venus for January 2022. Any animal oracle messages for Gemini, Summer Night for Venus in January 2022. Any animal oracle messages for Gemini, Summer Night for Venus for January 2022. Any animal oracle messages for Gemini, Summer Night for Venus for January 2022. Any animal oracle messages for Gemini, Summer and Isaac Venus in January 2022? Any animal oracle messages for Gemini, Summer and Isaac Venus, January 22? Alright, we got the tiger showing up, which is funny because I swear I've seen that card as I was shuffling. It was like probably at the bottom at one point. Um, so yeah, lots of like, there's that isolation energy of really just kind of being by yourself, having a quiet evening having your favorite drink, maybe a little glass of wine, a little cup of tea or whatever the hell you drink. <laughs> um, you know, maybe, you know, spend some time journaling, being at one with your thoughts, really connecting to your intuition. And just, this is also very feminine, creative, expressive energy to be in as well. And I also have to point out that your intuition is on point. And I do feel like you will be getting a lot of clarity through your intuition and just drawn to your own conclusions. So pay attention to that, pay attention to your dreams and um answers are coming let me see what else needs to come out for gemini for january 2022 any messages for gemini summarizing venus for january 2022 oh oh that that's a lot i cannot spirit you can't do that to me. <laughs> Less cards. Less cards. Or maybe we're just going to grab a fairy message. Okay, we have the zebra. Aw, I love that. 
The zebra is um, very creative energy, like I just said, with the tiger, so this just goes hand in hand. It's like this time from now to the end of January, you're going to feel super inspired and super creative, and this is going to be a really good time to, you know, create and build and um, start new projects. The zebra also does talk about like helping out in places, areas that you can, even like volunteering or donating to even like, um, you know, food banks, things like that. It is tis the season, right? It is that time of year you know you help out in areas where you can you can lend a helping hand you can do good deeds to those in your community that does talk about that in zebras like community work or helping out um you know really just spreading generosity and kindness to those in need and um it's really beautiful let's say you order out one night and you give them a really generous tip something like that like just doing something out of the kindness of your own heart um that is really beautiful i love that this also does talk about possible travel so that could be coming up for someone out there maybe you've been thinking about going on like a little getaway weekend adventure <laughs> or like just um like a little break it is the holiday season some of you are going on a little holiday um trip so i hope you have safe travels and that you have a great time and you relax and you treat yourself and that you feel good you feel replenished and rejuvenated really beautiful energy um we'll grab one fairy message for you Give me one fairy message for Gemini, summarizing Venus regarding this reading for January 2022. To wrap this up. Any fairy messages for Gemini regarding this reading? Thank you. The Singer of Initiation. So there is something that you are starting up. There is something that you're initiating here, which we had that with the Magician and the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Chariot, and like all that. So there is something that you definitely are starting up from now to the end of January, and it feels really significant. It feels like whatever it is that you're starting, it's going to be like something that carries out through, something that carries through out this entire year 2022 so whatever it is that you're starting i feel like this is going to be like a general theme for what's yet to come for the rest of the year or it's going to be like um something just feels long term about whatever it is that you're starting again because we had like that ace of pentacles and then we have the ten of pentacles i feel like there's some sort of like foundation that's slowly being built or some sort of um whatever it is that you're investing in i feel like this is like a slow and steady investment i feel like it's going to be something that's worth it worth the weight worth the time and the energy and just like it's going to be something that you'll reflect on and just like be proud of how far you've come like i just feel like whatever this is that you're starting up it's really going to work out in your favor and you just need to trust yourself and trust your your intuition trust your discernment this might even be relating to again like some sort of creative endeavor or um your own hobbies or something like that i feel like it's gonna be really beautiful really positive and i love that <laughs> we do also have india at the bottom of the deck you may have some sort of decision um to make or whatever you're deciding on to initiate right there could be a little bit of indecision um again needing to trust yourself with your decisions with your choices whatever it is you're investing your time and energy into there's a little bit of this wishy-washiness you can't have that if you're going to commit to something you got to be full in you can't just have one foot in one foot out you got to be like full in committed invested right otherwise whatever it is that you're starting up is going to take much longer to get off the ground or you know this thing that you are initiating it needs your consistent solid effort all right, you can't, you know, start quick and quick. You can't just start and stop, start, stop, start, stop. You need to fully commit to whatever this endeavor is, okay? If you want it to be long lasting and you actually want to see something grow from this, okay? So that is what I got for you guys for this reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget if you are wanting to enter the giveaway for the personal reading, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below what it is that you are wanting to manifest for the year ahead. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok at Jade Stone Tarot, and I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take Take care and also happy holidays.